just get hungry? When my stomach is growling. I'm hungry when I see food. Well, my stomach tells me. I'll feel so good, and I and I and, and I need something to eat. My stomach growls. When your stomach rumbles and you're really hungry. Clearly, your stomach's rumbling, and you're feeling hunger pains, pit in your stomach. Well, I know when I'm hungry when my stomach's aching, and I'm just like, I mean, hungry's hungry. That's you. You know when you're hungry. That's pretty much it. Um, a banana. Gogurt. Peanuts. I love peaches. Carrot sticks. That's my healthy, healthy snack that I like to eat. Carrots. Carrots are pretty good. Eat food. Eat. I go into my pantry and get some food. Eat or cook. I uh, go into the fridge and or the pantry and just get some food. Um, I don't know. I'm sure it is. I don't know. Uh, yes. Absolutely a problem. Yes. Yes, I mean, yes. it is. Like, poverty faces uh, people in Baltimore every day. Yes, absolutely. Well, a bunch of students and myself visited Digital Harbor High School a couple of weeks ago, and 80% of the students at that school are on free lunches which means that they are living below the poverty line. So, yes, it's a major problem in Baltimore City. I mean, every day when I drive to work, I see people, men, women, with children, holding signs, you know, hungry. So there's definitely a problem in Baltimore. Yes, it is a huge problem in Baltimore. Take out the playgrounds at McDonald's. In service learning club, service club here in the middle school, we pack lunches at least once a month for the homeless shelters. Uh, educating students about uh, fast food and how it can be bad for you. Uh, we can educate kids on the healthy food choices and what they should eat to be healthy. I'm sorry, what was the question? <laughs> By educating the people, the students, teachers, on healthy eating habits. Like this little guy. Well, I think the best way to help is by educating the students about healthy nutrition and uh, giving them a sense that hunger is an issue worldwide, uh, starting here at home, but going um, across borders. It's an issue that we face as humans, and it's going to get even more severe uh, in the future. So I think education and exposure are the things that we need to do to get you guys on board. Thanks. Hey.